Fog. Fog is a great atmospheric tool that we can use to blend shapes and other components of our composition together in a nice melded form. Volumetrics can also be used to elevate the composition itself, drawing our eyes away from objects that are more obscured. It can make your scene go from this to this. Let us learn how to do it now in the EV engine in the Blender 2.8 beta. Hey there, this is Hayden here from FalzonFantasy.com and I would like to apologize firstly for my absence this week. I have been a bit ill, but I'm on the mend. And without further ado, we're going to be doing a tutorial today on fog in the EV engine in Blender 2.8. As I have said before, fog is a great tool. It can really bring the scene to life and add character to the environment. It is also really good at hiding mistakes. By default, Blender's EV engine does not render volumetrics. To turn this function on, we have to go to our Render Menu tab and scroll down till we see our volumetric checkbox. Tick this to turn volumetric rendering on. Fantastic. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the materials for this fog that we're going to create. And then after, I'm going to show you what all these settings do and how to make the best looking fog we can. If you like the models in this scene, they're available on my Gumroad store. And if you stick around to the end, I'll be detailing a little deal I'm doing for free content for you. But moving back on. To make a basic volume, we're going to create a cube. Then, in the Material tab, we're going to create a new material and name it Fog or Mist or something of the sort. Then, grabbing a Volume Scatter node, we're then going to connect that to the Volume Input of the Material Output node. Now we're going to drop the volume density to around 0.02 as I feel that this is a good value. It's not too strong, but at the same time not too weak. Done. That's all there is to it. It is really simple. But let's now talk about the settings and how to make it look even better. The start value is how far the volumetric start rendering from your view. Making this very long or large will mean that our fog is clipped further and further away until it will get to a point where it actually won't be able to render. The end is the exact opposite. It dictates where the fog stops rendering. At a default of 100 meters, it's good for small to mid-scale scenes. These two values work in a very similar fashion as the clip distance. Be sure that if your end value is very large, also make sure that your start value is relatively large, as this can help the performance of the scene. Tile size increases the quality of the volume effects, but be careful, as it also increases VRAM usage. It is also a little confusing for some beginners. A higher tile size does not mean better quality. It actually means the opposite. So to get a clean looking volume, you need to have a smaller tile. Just think of it like a mosaic. The smaller the tile, the better density and better quality we get out of the overall image. Samples increase the samples used to compute the effect and heavily influence the quality. See what happens when I drop this to something like two? Pretty shoddy, eh? So make sure that you always set your samples to a high number. Something in the order of 128 or 256 would be, a, would be good for a final render for an animation. And you should go even higher than that for a still image, if your computer can manage it. To have more control over where your fog is and how thick it is, we can just duplicate our volume box and overlay it with each other to create thicker fog. This is why we didn't go too overboard with the density of the volume, so that we would be able to overlay the cubes with one another. And there we have it, a compelling scene with volumetrics rendered in EV. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you would like to keep up to date with content like this and more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you would like to support the tutorials on this channel, you can head over to my Gumroad and check it out. 
If we can get to 200 likes on this video in one week, then I'll make MySpace backgrounds free for everyone for one hour. So be sure to share this video with people who you think may learn something from it. If we reach that threshold, I'll let everyone know what time it will go on sale via my YouTube community tab, as well as my Twitter account. Thank you so much for watching. This is Hayden Falzon from FalzonFantasy.com, signing off.